This is Professor Money Pick Trading. Today is May 5th, 2021. Just really quick video to discuss about Peloton. There's a massive recall news coming out, and Peloton actually dropped 14% today so far. And whether this is a time to buy opportunity, let's uh, take a quick look. So, really quick disclaimer we're not registered financial advisors. Um, so, this presentation is for education purposes. Please invest at your own risks. So, what happened this morning is the Consumer Product Safety Commission, uh, CPSP, actually recommend Peloton to recall their trad plus treadmills that's because uh, there are some potential hazard for children and pets uh, and objects get pulled underneath the treadmill and if you google on youtube you'll probably see some videos which is pretty unfortunate and cause one death um, so right now um, peloton respond to it and now officially they recalled about 125,000 uh, peloton trad uh, plus treadmills and how bad it is so basically looking at the chart once the news came out this morning uh, Peloton actually dropped from 91.5 to all the way to eight, around 81, 82. Uh, technically, on the daily chart, we have a support at 80.88 and 76, which is around this level. Um, and we'll see that level will hold. Now, right now, all the uh, daily exponential EMA support are broken. So that definitely uh, should provide some support historically over there. And we just did a really quick math uh, to see if there's 125,000 uh, tread plus uh, treadmill got recalled, uh, how much will that impact financially to Peloton? So basically, we used the $42.95 per unit. Of course, some units probably got some people bought it on sale. You know, we don't really, we don't really know the average sale price. And since Peloton on the website they mentioned. Uh, customer can get a full refund. So we do a quick math on how many percentage of customer actually ask for refunds uh, based on 125,000 uh, treadmills. And you can see the refund lost uh, based on all these numbers. If it's 100%, we're going to see around $500 million uh, of a refund loss. And plus shipping, we estimate about $25 million uh, uh, going back and forth for all the treadmills. And also, in, uh, we estimate Based on this percentage, like 100% of the people uh, ask for refund, that means uh, in total, uh, Peloton's gonna lose 12 months of uh, all these people's subscription, right? So the subscription loss will in total be around $59 million. So in total loss, uh, adding together, is about $620 million loss. Uh, if that happened, that's pretty much, uh, currently Peloton has uh, $2.1, $2.2 billion of cash. So if the total loss is around 620 million, that means Peloton is going to lose about 29.4 percent of their cash. And based on the different percentage of how many customer ask for refund, we actually provide the numbers down here, and you can uh, take a quick look. Um, so basically, yeah, if a, a lot of customer um, ask for refund, it, it definitely will cause a lot of damage on Peloton stock price and financial statement. Uh, but one thing we have to notice is uh, historically. Peloton has a pretty low churn rate. Um, in the next slide, we actually have a guidance uh, for the earning, which will happen on May 6, 2021 at 4.05 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. And you can see the guidance churn rate is as low as 0.75%, uh, while right now the consensus from Wall Street, the churn rate will be 0.72%. So that means uh, Peloton customers are actually pretty happy about their products and uh, the churn rate is relatively low. So let's go back to the previous slide really quick. So if the churn rate is as low as 0.7% before all the incident happened, of course, uh, at, in the past two weeks, once the news came out, we don't know whether the new churn rate guidance will be. So tomorrow's earnings will provide a really good idea for us, like how many uh, refund and how, how much does the churn uh, down the road with all this uh, negative public relationship news. But yeah, if the the churn rate or the refund rate is like as high as 50% or even just 25%, it can cause a lot of damage on Peloton's financial statement. But then we just have to wait for the earnings to see tomorrow. And also currently the revenue guidance probably has some uh, pricing to this uh, recall. So right now the consensus and guidance is around $1.1 billion. We have to see tomorrow how much it will affect on their revenues and of course their earning per share and their margin etc and originally peloton uh, this month and may 27 they actually plan to launch a new treadmill um, so we'll have to see whether this product will be delayed it looks like it it will be delayed and how much effect will on um, the revenue guidance as well and not to mention we don't really know the subscription number right now uh, whether they will provide a new guidance on the subs subscription number in the earning call tomorrow that's the other thing we'll have to see so just a really quick cap up, 
Uh, we think right now just a lot of uncertainty. It will be a battle uh, of your stock. There might be some um, push out from here, but if the earning guidance is really bad and uh, potentially Q3 this year, um, Peloton originally expect they will start to be uh, positive EBITDA and everything, uh, pretty good financial results. And that guidance could be delayed as well. If so, we could see uh, Peloton to have further pullback. Uh, if not, maybe we'll see the price stabilize here or start to bounce. So just a lot of uncertainty. If you want to buy the dip on Peloton, I would say it's probably not a bad, bad idea to wait a little bit just for one more trading day. And until Friday, we'll have a way better picture and happy to make an uh, update video. So really quick uh, highlight, we'll have a really uh, decent long-term investment Discord community. We have an actual return per trade in 2020, 19% return and winning rates 89%. And we also have an option-based swing trading program. And in April, our, our winning rate is a little bit lower than March and February. Uh, it's 54%, but still pretty decent. And the average return per trade is 33%. So yeah, if you're interested, uh, we have one example here, uh, MVAX. Uh, this is one of our contract, uh, make us uh, more than 100% and members are pretty happy. Uh, so if you are more interested in our Discord community, uh, feel free to check us out at www.moneypicktrading.com and our Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all Money Pick Trading. The Facebook group, group is uh, Money Pick Space Trading. And thanks for watching. Please like the video. And if you have any question or would like to uh, discuss, uh, feel free to leave the comment down below. And uh, see, you, see you guys uh, in the next video. Bye-bye.